Welcome to the Savage Sullivan Math website. Today we're going to learn how to solve systems of equations by graphing. As you recall, systems of equations are when you have two or more linear equations. For our purposes, we are just looking at two equations. And there are three methods to solving, but we are only going to focus on the graphing today. So our first problem, we have the system of y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 3, and we also have y is equal to negative 2x plus 5. Now, lucky for us, both of these equations are in slope-intercept form, so it's easy to graph these. Don't forget that the second number is always your y-intercept, so you just have to plot that on the y-axis at the y-intercept. And then this first number that's attached to the x, that is your slope, so that tells us the rise and the run. So from our y-intercept, we are going to rise 2 and run 3. And you can just continue that pattern, rise 2, run 3. If you need to add some the other way, you can just do the other methods. You can go down 2 to the left 3 and see how they are all still in alignment. Connect the dots, and you have finished graphing this first equation. Now, to find the actual solution for this system, we are looking for which ordered pair matches or which ordered pair is a solution for both of the equations. So now we just have to, have to graph the second equation to see what they have in common. Again, our second number of a positive 5, that is our y-intercept. So we're going to go up to plus 5 here. And our slope of negative 2, that is the same thing as say, saying negative 2 over 1. So from our y-intercept, we're going to go down 2 to the right 1, down 2 to the right 1, and continue the progression. And lucky us, we can see that these two lines do indeed cross. And they cross at this ordered pair right here of 3 comma negative 1. You can check your answer to see if this is truly a solution for both of the equations by plugging this ordered pair into both of your equations and see if it actually does work. So that would be a good test-taking strategy to make sure that you did pick the right ordered pair or that you did correctly graph it. So we can do that very quickly here. This is our y value. This is our x value. So negative 1 is equal to 2 thirds times 3 minus 3. So 2 thirds of 3 is 2, and 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So this one is correct. Our top equation is correct. I'm going to erase that for a little extra room. For the second equation, negative 1 is equal to negative 2 times 3 plus 5. Negative 1 is equal to negative 6 plus 5. Again, we find that our solution matches, so we know we have found the correct point. So now we're going to look at a second example that's not as cut and dry as our first one. So we're going to look at two equations, y equals one third x plus one, and then we're going to look at another equation that's not already in slope-intercept form. So we're going to look at two x plus three y equals negative six. So we have one equation that's in slope-intercept form, we have the second equation that's in standard form. So while we could graph this in standard form by the intercepts, it's good practice to know how to rewrite it into slope-intercept form. So as we learned already, to rewrite this into slope-intercept form, we're going to subtract by 2x on both sides, and we're going to get 3y equals negative 6 minus 2x. And then to get it in true slope-intercept form, divide everything by 3. And we're going to have y equals negative 2 minus 2 thirds x. So now we have this equation and this equation that we are going to graph and see our solution. So like in the first example, we're going to start by plotting our y-intercept. So a positive 1. Our slope is 1 third. So starting at our y-intercept, we're going to go up 1 and 3 to the right. And just like the last one, if you need to go to the left, starting on our y-intercept, down one, three to the left, and draw your line. And now that I did the work to get into slope-intercept form for the second equation, I'm going to look at this one, and I'm going to graph it the same. So our y-intercept is at negative two. 
our slope is negative two-thirds. Be careful of those signs. Make sure you're paying attention to that. So we are going to go down two and to the right three. Or we can go up two and to the left three. And we're going to see that we land at the same point. Draw our line. So here is our solution that we want to check. So I'm going to erase this. So just as Ms. Sullivan did the first time, our solution point is negative three, zero. But we always want to check to make sure we didn't make a careless error. So where the y is, we're going to plug in our y coordinate of zero. Where the x is, we're going to plug in our x coordinate of negative three. And we're going to see that we do, in fact, get a true statement here. So it works with our first equation. But, like any system, it needs to work in both. So we're going to check the same point, and we're going to check it in our bottom equation down here. So again, the point is negative 3, 0. Where our y is, we're going to plug in 0. Where our x is, we're going to plug in negative 3. So we're going to have negative 2 minus 2 thirds times negative 3. And we're going to see we have 0 equals negative 2 plus 2 when you do this multiplication out. And we're going to get 0 equals 0. So since it works in both equations, this is our solution.